Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's April, which means it's spring. And that also means it's time to bring out the spring handbags. I have a handbag I'll be reviewing for you today by Michael Kors. This is a very versatile bag. It can be worn three different ways, and I think it can be dressed up and dressed down. I will then pair the bag with two different looks. One that's a more formal look, and one that's a more everyday look. Let's get started. This is the Lita Medium Leather Crossbody Bag in the color Powder Blush. This bag retails at $428, but I purchased it for $119. So let's take a look at some of the details of this bag. We'll start here in the front. You can see it's gold hardware, and there's a very interesting unlocking mechanism on this particular bag that I don't see with many handbags. You pull this tab down and it pops open. As you open the bag, you'll see that powder blush color throughout. Inside, there are two large compartments there's no zipper compartments, but there is a little slip pocket here. You'll see that Michael Kors is on the back. And then there is a third pocket in the front. Let's close this bag up. You line it up. You flip up the clasp. This part of the bag I really love this chain detailing. I think it's very, very pretty. And it just adds an extra element of sophistication to this bag. So here you have the gold chain with a little charm on the side here. That chain is affixed to two rings. If we flip the bag around, here there's a slip pocket in the back for your phone. Please be aware this bag is not lined and the back slip pocket is also not lined. The strap has multiple adjustments and is removable. You can open and close the clasp and remove it from the top ring. The clasp, as you can see, it has Michael Kors imprinted and the clasp opens and closes very easily very easily affixes back to the bag. Overall, the stitching looks very tight. It is a slightly larger stitch, but it is nicely done. And you can see on the back, the stitching along the sides and on the back pocket. Along the side, there are some pleats, almost giving it like a pillowy effect gives it a little extra something on the side of this bag. So I'll show you in a minute that this bag can be worn three different ways. You have the chain, which you can wear on your forearm. You have the shoulder strap, which can be worn on the shoulder or crossbody. So it is actually quite versatile in that respect. Now let's see what fits in this bag. My wallet fits in there very nicely. My car key, my medicine. I have a compact here. My sunglasses, again, I think a sunglass case, if it was narrow enough, it probably could fit in here, but my sunglass holders tend to be a little bit big and bulky. So it stretches the bag a little too much, but because it is a structured bag, I feel comfortable that I can lay my sunglasses on top of my items and it will be protected. This of course also can fit my iPhone very easily. And of course you also can see there is additional room for other items, lipstick, lip balm, hand sanitizer, and of course you do have the option of putting the phone in the back, but this slot is a little bit tighter. So the phone, although it does fit, it's a tighter fit. So this bag does fit all of the essentials 
And because it is a neutral color, it makes it more versatile as it can be worn with different colored outfits. So let me try this bag on for you now. So I mentioned a lot of pros of this bag, the color, the different ways that you can wear this bag. It fits all the essentials. It has a unique clasp that I don't often see on other handbags, but there's a couple things that concern me. I noticed that the clasp already looks like it has a little bit of a scratch on it. So, that concerns me a little bit in terms of longevity. I have not even worn this bag yet. I just took it out of the package today. So the fact that I can see a little hairline scratch, that does concern me. The other thing is that the bag is not lined. I personally prefer bags to be lined. I think it helps to protect the leather interior. It also is easier, I think, to get things in and out of your bag, particularly in the back where you can put a phone. It would be easier to get the phone in and out of the bag if the back pocket was lined. And then lastly, there are no feet on the bottom of this bag. Given the light color of this bag, I would be very careful not to place it ever on the floor. And I would probably be a little worried about placing it on a table where there might be stains or something sticky. Overall, I think this bag is very pretty. It will go with many of the outfits I have in my closet, but I was hoping for a little bit more. So I'm a little on the fence about whether or not I'm going to keep this bag. I'm still within the 30 day return policy so I'll see how I feel over the next couple of weeks and whether I think this bag is worth keeping. I hope this video was helpful and gave you the information you need to decide whether this bag is right for you. If you have any questions about this bag, please let me know. And if you like these videos, please hit the like button and I would be thrilled if you would subscribe to my channel. Thank you for being here. Happy shopping. Bye for now.